Lockdown Tech in Japan, we are talking toilets. The magical, mythical, not so mythical, Japanese toilet. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of tour of one. Let's, uh, let's roll the thing. So today we're going to be talking about Japanese toilets. Yes, the heated toilet seat, the reason people come back to Japan. Okay, I guess it's one of the reasons I came back, but... Uh, it's the uh, it's one of the big draws, particularly in the winter time when it's so cold outside, and you come in and you have a nice heated, warm place to sit. It's fantastic. So, uh, this is a little bit of a tour of a toilet that is in a brand new building. It's a brand new toilet. I don't think anybody's ever even been in the room. So, uh, let's uh, kind of cut to the tape, I guess. Uh, no, I'm not going to put it back here. I'm just going to roll it on top. All right, so we are, this is the white wall of the bath bathroom. And coming down to the toilet seat, that's, uh, a lot of these toilets do have uh, these types of controls. Stop, start, the bidet, and the uh, spray to clean the butt after the business is done. Uh, there's a sound button there, and then the sound stop button. So the sound button actually... plays a little bit of sound so that you can see and, well, you can, uh, yeah, cover sounds. And then a wide variety of uh, uh, lights. And yes, these, these seats, <laughs> these toilet seats actually use electricity and are, it's necessary to plug them into the wall. So all of the bathrooms in Japan have to have an electrical socket. Otherwise the toilets don't, the toilet seat doesn't work. The toilet works on gravity just like uh, all the rest of the original toilets. Let's cut back to the video a little bit. Uh, underneath the toilet seat, there are two drawers where the spray and the bidet come out. And uh, that's there. I'm not going to actually push the button in this video because uh, there are plenty of videos where people are getting sprayed by the toilet seat water, which is fresh water comes in. It doesn't come through the same... Uh, toilet uh, system that the rest of it does, that the rest of the uh, water for the toilet does. But it's all usually potable water anyway. So, uh, Japanese toilet seats are great. This one probably runs about $300 to $400. The, uh, the typical house usually has one that's not quite this nice. Um, and it looks like this one is one that's designed with the rest of the bowl all as a single unit. They're great to have, but they are quite expensive. So I told you, think about a toilet seat for, uh, the cheapest I've ever seen them is maybe $150 US. Uh, a mon and a half to two and a half mon uh, for, the, for the price. And you can pay more than that. Two and, two and a half mon is about... Eh, 250 to $300, depending on uh, when you're seeing this video and what the exchange rate is. Okay, 280 whatever. Um, but the toilet seats are great, and uh, they're fantastic to have in your house. If you are planning to bring one from Japan to your place, uh, it is possible to get them. And Toto is the big toilet maker, or toilet seat maker in Japan. You can buy them in the U.S. They are quite pricey. I don't have a, the numbers off the top of my head. So, uh, yeah, if you get the opportunity to get one, it's great. Make sure that uh, you be, be a little careful because uh, the difference in electricity between the U.S. and Japan uh, can shorten the life of the toilet seat, and it is possible to get burned if you have the toilet seat uh, setting too high for the heat. Uh, you have to be a little careful. Um, let's take a look one more time back at the flashing lights and that other part of the control panel. Just a second. Okay, here there are a number of spots on the uh, in the picture that you should be able to uh, read some of. Okay, so the top light that's not on is energy saver, so that it can take a little uh, little less electricity. The uh, the whether the heat the seat warmer is on or not is. Whether the seat warmer is on or not is the middle light, or the top light. Uh, and then whether the water warmer is on is just below that. 
and the bottom light is the power switch. The button to the left, I'll try to throw a circle around it, is says uh, Nozuru Soji, which means the nozzle cleaner. So uh, it's a self-cleaning system to make sure that the nozzles get cleaned uh, for the bidet and the wash. So with the two buttons to the left, the top one is the actual seat heat. You have a choice between high, medium, and low. And then the water heat, also high, medium, or low, they use the same set of LEDs. If you press it once, it tells you what it's set for, and if you can continue to press it, it will cycle through the, the lights. Um, and then the top button on the right side is the settings. The button on the bottom right is the power switch. So this is basically the control panel for it, for the seat, and uh, yeah, it's good. They're awesome. They're absolutely awesome. So this is one of the great things about Japan in the wintertime, and you just turn the seat off during the summertime because it's already kind of hot, particularly here in Kansai, uh, and a heated toilet seat doesn't do you any good in the summer. But during the winter, it's unbelievably fantastic. So uh, that's a quick look at Japanese toilets and toilet seats, and uh, it is this is one thing... <laughs> One thing to keep in mind is, this is the Western style toilet in Japan. There's also a Japanese style toilet, which is a little bit more complex, and I'm sure there are a ton of videos uh, out and about for people coming across the Japanese the Japanese style toilet for the first time. Um, I'll see if I can find some links. If not, uh, perhaps I'll make one if enough people ask for it. Um, I don't like to use them. They're a little uncomfortable. Uh, all right. So with that, uh, I want to thank everybody for all of the views and the subscriptions. Uh, I look forward to seeing you uh, next year. I'm going to have a couple more videos this year, uh, but uh, it'll be a little bit more sporadic than my running pace over this past couple weeks. So uh, thank you very much. Have a good one, and uh, we'll see you later.